We estimate that malaria mortality rates have declined from 2000 to 2012 by 45 percent globally, by 49 percent uh, in the WHO Africa region. And among children under the age of five, those numbers are even more impressive. A 51 percent decline in malaria mortality rates globally and a 54 percent decline in the WHO Africa region. The report shows that financing, of course, has gone up dramatically. Um, and we couldn't be here today without the financing that, that, that has uh, gone up over the last 12 years. We're at about $2 billion a year in external financing, $500 million in additional financing from endemic countries themselves. And while $2.5 billion is an impressive number, and that's up from just a couple hundred million at the beginning of the decade, it's still far short of the $5.1 billion that we need to fully scale up these life-saving interventions. The table, tourism, commerce. A lot of work has to be done. It will take a perfect storm for us to reach the Health Millennium Development Goals. But this malaria report released by the World Health Organization yesterday gives us an incredible start and great impetus to reach what we're aspiring to reach by the end of 2015. It is a time to celebrate an amazing humanitarian and public health achievement. But as I said yesterday, if you happen to be one of the kids that's in the part of the glass that's half empty, then a half full glass isn't full enough. And we have to work together to find those resources. There are still 600, an estimated 627,000 people dying from this disease, and that's needless because really for a $5 bed net, a 50 cent diagnostic test, and a $1 antimalarial treatment, there really is no reason in 2013 for anybody to die from this disease. Of, uh, for peacekeeping, uh, of... See you next time. There are a few copies. I only had three copies left of the report.